chapter 36. What Mig carried. And while the mouse slept, Roscaro put his terrible plan into place. Would you like to hear, reader, how it all unfolded? The story is not pretty. There is violence. What's violence? Like killing. Killing, fighting, harming another person. And cruelty. What's cruelty? Bad. Being mean, being awful. But stories that are not pretty have a value too, I suppose. Everything as you will know, having lived in the world long enough to figure out a thing or two for yourself, can't always be sweetness and light. So listen, this is how it happened. First, the rat finished once and for all the job he started long ago. He chewed through Gregory's rope all the way through. So the jailer became lost in the maze of the dungeon. Late at night when the castle was dark, the serving girl Miggery Sow climbed the stairs to the princess's room. In her hand, she carried a candle and in the pockets of her apron were two ominous things. Does ominous sound like a good thing or a bad thing? Bad. I think I know one of them, the tail. Let's see. In the right pocket, hidden in case they should encounter anyone on the stairs, was a rat with the spoon on his head and a cloak of red around his shoulders. In the left pocket was a kitchen knife, the same knife that Miggery had used to cut off the tail of a certain mouse. That's the mouse. There were things, a rat and a knife and a candle that Mig carried as she climbed up, up, up. Gore, she sounded to the rat. It's dark, ain't it? Yes, yes, whispered Roscoe from her pocket. It is quite dark, my dear. When I'm a princess, began Meg. Shh, said Roscoe. May I suggest you keep your glorious plan for the future to yourself? And may I further suggest that you keep your voice down to a whisper. We are, after all, on a covert mission. Do you know how to whisper, my dear? What's a covert mission? Like a bad, a bad mission. What's well, a mission? It's a secret mission. Covert is going to be nobody else knows about it. So he's saying you need to whisper. I do know how to keep my voice down, shouted Mick. Then please, said Mick. Roscoe, please institute this immediately. Gore, whispered Meg. All right. Thank you, said Roscoe. Do I need to review with you again our plan of action? I got it all straight right here in my head, whispered Meg, and she tapped the side of her head with one finger. How comforting, said Roscoe. Perhaps, my dear, we should go over it again one more time just to be sure. Well, said Meg. We go into the princess's room. She'll be sleeping and snoozing and snoring. I will wake her up and I'll show her the knife and I'll say, if you does not want to get me hurt, princess, you must come with me. And you will not hurt her, said Roscoe. No, I won't, because I want her to live so she can be my lady in waiting when I become the princess. Exactly, said Roscoe. That will be the divine comeuppance. Good, whispered me. Her divine come up. Meg had, of course, no idea what the phrase divine come up meant, but she had very much liked the sound of it, and she repeated it over and over to herself until Roscoe said, And then, and then, continued Meg, I tells her to get out of the princess bed and come with me on a little journey. Ha, ah, said Roscoe, a little journey. That's right. I love the understatement. A little journey. A little journey it will be indeed. And then, said Meg, who is now coming to her favorite part of the plan. We take her to the deep downs. We give her some lessons on being a serving girl. We give her some short lessons on being a princess. And when we're all done, we switch places. I get to be the princess and she gets to be the maid. Gore. Reader, this is the plan that Roscoe presented to Big when he first met her. 
It was, of course, a ridiculous plan. No one would ever, not for a moment, mistake Meg for the princess or the princess for Meg. But Niggery Sow, as I pointed out, was not the sharpest knife in the drawer. And reader, she wanted desperately to become a princess. She wanted, oh, how she wanted. It was because of this that she believed Roscaro's plan with every ounce of her heart. So do we think this plan is gonna work? No. No, kind of. no one's gonna believe that Miggery Sow is the princess. But does Mig believe this plan is gonna work? No. The rat's real plan was more simple. He intended to take the princess to the darkest part of the dungeon. He intended to have Mig put chains on the princess and he intended to keep the glowing, laughing princess in the dark forever.